I uh, came up to Denver to get that engine. Uh, it's pretty much the guy was going to pull it, and then he decided that uh, he just wanted to take the parts he wanted off of it. So now I have a, like, it has 100,000 miles twin turbo. It was supposed to be a five speed, but it ended up being a six speed. So uh, I have another six speed transmission. This only, like, he has all the records for it. Just had the clutch done, just had the timing done, just had like everything done, new brakes, and has a bigger brakes. Uh, but it got smashed. Some drunk lady hit him, so it pretty much folded that rear arm and uh, smashed in the, like, it looks like the frame's pretty straight, but I don't plan on really saving it. He took out, like, the carpet, and he left the, I was supposed to get the door panels, but he ended up saving them. Uh, I kind of needed them, but at least I get the dash, because my dash is destroyed. Pull the rear brakes and everything off of this, the diff, and then I'm gonna use the engine hoist and pull out the whole swap outside. Spray it down with like some simple green or like something and then give her the, the pressure wash, set it off to the side. And then somehow I'm gonna maybe figure out how to drag this this shell outside so I can bring in the, the other black one so I could get ready to drop that other swap and put this one in. Super, like cracked. Look at that. So yeah, I'm gonna pull that dash up. Oh, nice. the uh, two lines right there and pull that power string reservoir out. other side that looks really nice especially the back the seats all nice and clean and it smells all nice in here now it doesn't smell it smells like wild cherries okay so the interior is coming together I have the dash in now I connected the AC lines the uh, wires for the alternator and the AC compressor I noticed last night the the carrier bearing is done in it and uh, I'm gonna just pull this exhaust, do the diff while it's on the lift, a new fuel filter, and uh, I'll start bolting all the randomness. Doing the power steering lines, I got most of them connected to the reservoir. I just need to get these last two the engine mount in and uh, bolt some things on and then run the inner cooler on the side. This is what they look like after they're all blasted. I 
I am going to charge the AC in the VR4 as long as there's no leaks. I'm going to check that now with the vacuum pump. Just pulled it in the shop. Ready to charge the AC. This is the vacuum pump. And uh, I have these lines. They're all being pulled with vacuum on, so it pulls all the air out of it. Try and bump up the high pressure side now. definitely come together. I, I think this car looks a lot better than it did when I got it. A month of uh, working on this thing and now it's uh, a nice car. Uh, the paints need to be cleaned up a little bit. I'll probably give it a nice buff again but yeah other, otherwise it's not that bad of a car. And the great thing is like the glass roof uh, pretty much protects it from any like Dings or like hail and stuff like that. All right, so I stole Adam's wheels to see how they fit on the VR4, and they actually fit very well. Uh, 18 by 9 plus 25. Uh, I don't like how like I don't know they're kind of poking on the front. They're kind of poking on the back too, but it's not as like if I lowered it, it would definitely be rubbing the fenders, and you'd have to like roll them. I think plus 30. Is like a safe one to go with but with these wheels um, plus 30 would definitely rub the caliper you can see how close it is it just barely clears so yeah i mean i like the white on the uh with the black and everything so uh all white wheels i guess but uh you know i'm not sure it looks a lot better than that like compared to that